that's cool. Yo, what's going on everybody? You know who it is, Mozzie Hobbyist in the house, aka Skucks FPV. Today we'll be checking out the HSP Adventurer. Now this car is also known as the RGT 4x4 116 scale rock crawler. So without further ado, let's get stuck into it. I'm not a big person when it comes to rock crawling, but when I seen this little bad boy, I fell in love with it, okay? So I asked the guy, can I have a turn of your little car, man? He goes, yeah, yeah, mate, sure, 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 here, have a go. And then I had a turn, gave me a turn, and I absolutely loved it. Then I ended up buying me two of these things. So I do have a yellow one and a blue one. So the blue one I have modeled up, um, which I will show you at the end of this video, and I'll also show you the Mystic Blue. So I'll show you what the Mystic Blue is, after I show you this one. So this is stock standard. So I haven't touched anything on this thing here. Um, like I was saying, not big on rock crawlers, but when I seen this one, the little 1 16th scale rock crawler, pretty much fell in love. Just the scale of it and the size of it, just fell in love with it. Something that I can just, you know, pick it up, put it into my car, go out to the bush, go out to the rocks, have a little bit of fun um, climbing the rocks, the trees, you know, just along the ground there. Um, yeah, so absolutely love this thing. The good thing I like about this thing too as well, and what which caught my eye, was the actual lights that come with this car. Okay, so these are already installed, obviously. Comes as a ready to run. Um, so, th yeah, just, just look at it. It just looks pretty awesome there, man. So the good thing about this too, you got your remote here. So if I turn to the right, see the lights going, see the indicator? Turn to the left, and you also got indicators as well. So this is a four channel radio, so if I go ahead and push the third channel down here, see the little hazard lights going off? I think that's cool. So you push it again, and then you've got this little switch up here. So if I go full left, our lights will go off and go full right. And they come back on again. So you got that, you know, you can have them on during the day or you can have them on during the nights. You can turn them off during the day, have them on during the nights. But, you know, because I think this thing looks cool, I always have them on. So if I go ahead and go to the middle, it's just going to give me blinking lights. So I think that's cool. That's what, you know, attracted me to this car too. The fact that it came with lights and it's so small and you know it's it's pretty durable as well so this you know this body is pretty darn hard okay good thing i like about this roof rack as well is just like when it rolls over um it just protects the whole body um i have had this for the last three weeks i believe and yeah i take it out even now and then you know to my garden which i'll show you a, a few footage after this um but yeah awesome awesome machine so let's go to the interior now. So if I lift this up, so all the wires that you see, okay, so probably, I don't know, 78% of this electronics has got to do with with the lights. So you got your light system going up to the front and then you also got the rears as well. So the only lights you have at the back is the indicators. So there's no red lights at the back or any reversing or anything like that as well so if we look at the motor we're a 370 size motor which is pretty cool um the cool thing too we've got a little hobby wing esc sitting there as well that's pretty cool and then we've got our four channel receiver signaling up here so the reason why i can have these lights operating is because i've got more channels on there to play with and i'm pretty sure I can put more stuff in there as well but then when you put more stuff in there then you're going to lose the ability of maybe some flashlights or maybe the indicators so um i think that's pretty cool and the cool thing i like about this as well the fact that you know you got a single ESC and a single receiver you can easily take that receiver out and you know put your own receiver in there if you want or you know you can upgrade the whole thing a lot of people like putting 540 size motors in here don't know why because you know i like everything the way it is here already so you've got your little mini servo here um you got your shocks i'm pretty sure these are oil filled shocks as well uh you got your plastic under let's just turn it over 
Well, these are plastic, so you, I believe you've got metal gears going on in here as well. So you got the metal gears, and that would um, that's pretty cool because when this thing's on a slope, I believe this can you know go to 56 degree slope, which is pretty much like that, maybe even more. I don't have any slopes around here that I can show you, but um, I believe you know just watching YouTube channels and everything, you know, showing it going up a 56 degree slope which is pretty cool because i think the locking mechanism on here is pretty cool like you can just feel it's me rocking it backwards and forth backwards and forth um so with the truck actually it comes with 1100 mini amp nim battery um i have changed it out to a lipo so 1600 mini amp 7.4 lipo um so with the stock standard battery you get 40 minute run time and that's a 1100 and this is a 1600 mini amp um not that i have been out with this car that long i reckon i'll get at least an hour out of this because you know it's a slow machine you're not going to go fast at all um but yeah so those are the you know a little bit of specs i'm pretty sure there's more specs to this i never read manuals you know it probably says on the manual but you know who reads manuals these days um depends how sp expensive it was this one wasn't too expensive i believe this cost me about 230 bucks that's here in australia in america you know it might be on 150 or something it just depends on the you know the dollar at the time but um yeah 230 bucks which i think is is pretty much it's it's a bargain um but yeah, I think they did good with this 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 one here. I have had the RC4 before, which I think is a good car as well. But this is probably my smallest. I was looking at the actual 124 scale one, and then I seen this one, and I just thought, you know, man, thumbs up, thumbs up to the guys who you know made these things. Um, but yeah, so um, lock diffs uh, has metal gears, a 370 mode hobby wing lipo battery in there at the moment. So it does come with a four channel uh, colors you can get red and a blue and uh, yellow. So yeah, so let's take it outside and uh, we'll give it a little bit of a rip around in my garden, man, and we'll see how she goes. So let's go. So this is the car going at full throttle. I think it's pretty quick, man. Just spin it around. So look how good it can handle on this grass. Spin around, look at that, yes. So that's going at full throttle right now. Man, look at it, so cool. Right, let's take it in. Look at that. Look at those lights. So you've got your indicators there. Look how cool that is. That was... That's slow, nice and slow. And that's on grass as well. Most of the, like, uh, you know, Kmart, Big W sort of rock haulers, you know, will just die on you straight away when it comes to grass. But this one here, even long grass, I reckon this thing will plow through. So let's up the speed again, eh? That's cool. Right, let's take it on to the stones. Okay, so I've just put a little rock there just to get up into this little stone garden here. So we'll just go back to the truck here. So let's pull that trigger. Okay, we're going to go slow this. So I'm trying to film this and do it with one hand too. Yeah, that's cool. Ooh, little cobwebs. I reckon reverse goes faster than the front going forward, sorry. That's cool. So yeah, I probably wouldn't recommend, you know, going on big massive stones, but you know, something like this, put a little bit of, you know, rocks there, here and there, would be perfect for this car. 
especially camping, going out with your mates. Obviously, they've got to buy one of these as well. Yeah, look at that. Put your indicators going on. I want to put a water fountain in here. Got to ask the boss though. I know what the answer is going to be. It's going to be a no. So again, I'm trying to drive and film at the same time. I'm doing pretty good actually. Just the scale of the thing. Almost got stuck on that rock. Let's go behind this thing, eh? Oh, look at that. Trying to get it down on the grass again. Challenge. Awesome. <laughs> That's just so cool, eh? Well, there you go. There goes the yellow one, the yellow piece. So I'll quickly show you my mods that I did to my blue one. And I'll also show you the Mystic Blue. So this is the blue car I was telling you about. So it looks exactly like the other ones. Another thing I was supposed to tell you was these mirrors actually fold in and out. So I think that's cool as well. But the mods that I've done on this one were pretty much just lights. Um, so we've got one that's sitting at the back of the tire there. So when it becomes darker, it illuminates more, you know, the tire. Um, and then you've got your rear lights at the back here. So you've got this one here, two rear lights, red ones. And you still have the indicators down here. And with the front, what I've done is the front lights here. So one, two, three, four, four of them. So basically I draw the hole through what's already there and then pop these lights through and then pretty much this you know zip tie that there runs down into you know the the receiver and the mystic blue lights that i was telling you about are you ready for this are you ready for this so this is just removing one simple cord from your receiver and putting it into something else and then you will get -da, that the mystic blue lights <laughs> So that's just the name given from me and a friend. Well, actually, it was a friend that, you know, he told me. Well, well, yeah. Anyway, <coughs> um, so you got your blue rings there. See those blue rings? I think it looks cool, man. So if I grab the remote now and then I turn them off. So the one thing is the Mystic Blue lights will stay on the whole time. So once you sort of plug them, you know, into where I'm going to show you at the end of the video, they just stay on, you know, all the time. So, yeah, I've watched... A whole lot of these YouTube videos and I've never seen one person even come up with the mystic blue lights I don't even think anyone knew that they were there it wasn't until like I said I was driving one day and then I seen these lights and I thought I was dreaming but I was trying to get them back on but <coughs> I couldn't but yeah so those are the mystic blue lights and the other mod that I done check this out So I've got the sound module in there, the ESS1 sound module. So there was the ESS sound module. So when I rip it, it's going to give you that rock crawler <laughs> feel. I think it's so cool. But let's take it for a spin anyway. Oh, check this out, check this out, check this out. <laughs> so it's got a horn on it too, so you can... Look at the mystic, the mystic blue, the mystic blue lights. Oh, 
I'll show you something very quickly. So when I do the hazard lights, almost sounds like an alarm. Look at that. <laughs> I think that's so cool. And that's using the third channel. Switch it off. Turn my car back on. How cool is that? Reverse. I think it just, you know, having that sound system on there just makes it so more realistic, I reckon. Awesome, and that's what sort of that's why I fell in love with this thing because you know the size and this everything looks so scale and it just looks so cool especially now that you know how to you know turn on the mystic lights which I'll show you in a minute so let's go ahead and do that eh how do we get the mystic blue lights to work so easy air yeah? so as you can see I've grabbed the yellow one because I haven't done it on this car yet so you just got the two white ones going on there so easy air yeah, is grabbing this black and blue cord here and just on the receiver, you'll see a negative and a positive. So I'm going to pull that black and blue cord out. And I'm going to put it into the bay where it says the negative and positive. So once I plug that up. And now, if I put the lid back on, you can see the mystic blue lights are now happening. Look how cool. Look, it looks cool on the yellow one as well. <laughs> yeah, so that's how you activate the mystic blue lights. Um... I think I've broken a light there already. Oh well, I oh, know that's the indicator. Yeah, so that's how you activate the Mystic Blue Lights. I don't even think it's on the manual, so it's just by luck that we sort of scrolled through it, or I sort of, well actually a friend of mine sort of scrolled through it, but yeah, I found it first. <laughs> but anyway, man, subscribe, uh, tell your friends, your families, your uncles, your aunties, your brothers and sisters, and until next time, kids, keep cool to after school. Peace out.